2023 to 2025. Non-commercial. Driver license manual. Class D. Parent, if your child is under the age of 18, please read pages 1 through 6 and pages 40 through 45. Greetings from the Office of the Governor. It's my privilege to welcome you as a North Dakota driver. Whether you are operating a car, truck, motorcycle, or RV, or enjoying our communities as a bicyclist or pedestrian, everyone who uses our roads shares a responsibility to make transportation safe and enjoyable. This booklet contains important information outlining the state's rules and regulations for keeping you and other drivers safe on North Dakota's roadways. Please review this information and make the personal commitment to adhere to the rules of the road and to be aware of new laws that affect the motoring public, including distracted driving laws. We want to help you stay safe as a driver and valued community member. Sincerely, Governor. Introduction. The privilege of driving a motor vehicle in the state of North Dakota must first be earned. This manual will help you earn and keep this privilege. The manual is designed as a basic reference for all drivers and should be used to prepare for the written driver's examination. It does not include some of the information needed to qualify for driving passenger buses, school buses, motorcycles, and heavy trucks. Such additional information is contained in separate manuals available at all driver license offices. This manual will introduce you to North Dakota traffic laws, rules of the road, and other safe driving practices. You owe it to yourself to develop all the skills and knowledge needed to become a safe driver. Driver License Division North Dakota Department of Transportation 608 East Boulevard Avenue Bismarck, North Dakota 58505-0750 www.dot.nd.gov DL0623 Table of Contents your operator's license 2. Signs, signals, and road markings 9. Rules of the road 19. Driving skills and emergency situations 27. Drinking, drugs, and driving 35. Pedestrian traffic and recreational vehicles 37. Parent slash guardian driver coaching tips 40. Supervised driving log 45. North Dakota driver license and testing locations. To obtain a North Dakota operator's license, you must visit one of the driver license offices, or you may take your knowledge test immediately at nd.notodrive.com. An appointment is required. Please visit our website to book an appointment or obtain appointment information at dot.nd.gov. Please note, you will receive a failed test score if you leave the testing area while your test is in progress. The knowledge test fee is $5. The road test fee is $5. The fee for a Class D permit slash licenses, $15. The fee for a duplicate Class D permit slash license is $8. Lunch hour schedule, all sites closed from 12 to 1 p.m. except Bismarck, Minot, Grand Forks, and Fargo. Holiday schedule, offices are closed on the following holidays. New Year's Day, January 1st, Martin Luther King, Jr. Day, the third Monday in January President's Day, third Monday in February, Good Friday, the Friday preceding Easter Sunday Memorial Day, the last Monday in May, Independence Day, July 4th, Labor Day, the first Monday in September, Veterans Day, November 11th, Thanksgiving Day, the fourth Thursday in November Christmas Eve, December 24th, offices close at noon. Christmas Day, December 25th. If January 1st, July 4th, November 11th, or December 25th fall on a Sunday, the following Mon, day shall be the holiday. If these holidays fall on a Saturday, the preceding Friday is the holiday. Take your driver license knowledge test. Using the KNJW to drive. Online testing. Program. NOR. H. Dakota I Transportation. B. Le Gendery. Get started at nd.novvdrive.com ti. Driver License Offices. 
For current office locations and hours, go to www.dot.nd.gov. Click on Driver. For road test appointments, visit our website at www.dot.nd.gov or dial toll free at one dash eight fifty five six three three six eight three five. For online knowledge testing, visit nd.notodrive.com. TTY users may call Relay North Dakota at seven hundred and eleven. For services that can be done online, go to www.dot.nd.gov. Click on Driver. General information: All drivers' license offices are ADA accessible. Language interpretation for general business is provided for people with limited English proficiency (LEP). Additionally, the request for reasonable AC accommodations (S Fen six zero one three five) can be accessed at the following NDDOT website location: http colon slash slash www dot dot nd dot gov slash forms slash S Fen six zero one three five dot pdf. The non-commercial Class D knowledge test is offered in English, Arabic, Spanish. Somali, Russian, Vietnamese, Turkish, Swahili, Na, Pali, Serbo-Croatian, French, Pashto, Dari, and Chinese. Automated American Sign Lawn gauge and audio testing is available at the Fargo, Jamestown, Bismarck, Dickinson, Will, Liston, Minot, Devil's Lake, and Grand Forks driver license offices. The motorcycle Class M. Knowledge test is offered in English and Spanish. Automated American Sign Language and audio testing is available at the Fargo, Jamestown, Bismarck, Dickinson, Williston, Minot, Devil's Lake, and Grand Forks driver license offices. The Com Marshall CDL knowledge tests are offered in English only. Audio testing is available at the Fargo, Jamestown, Bismarck, Dickinson, Will. Liston, Minot, Devil's Lake, and Grand Forks driver license offices. Checklist for testing: You will not be allowed to test without proper identification. Knowledge test items: Proof of legal presence, current name, and date of birth. See list of acceptable forms of identification on page five. Proof of North Dakota resident address. See list of acceptable documents on page six. As authorized by NDCC June seventh. Thirty-nine and NDCC thirty-nine dash zero six dash zero three point one. All applications for permit, license, or identification card must contain the social security number (BR) of the applicant. All applicants less than eighteen years of age must have a parent, legal guardian, or designated person sign approval and sponsorship on the application. Legal guardian must present guardianship papers. Arrive no later than one hour prior to noon if testing at an office that closes for lunch, and no later than one hour prior to closing. You may not be allowed to test otherwise. Children, pets, except medical alert slash service animals, backpacks, purse, es, paper, pen, pencil, markers, cell phones, notebooks, and any other electronic devices are not allowed in the knowledge testing area. Important. You will receive a failed test score if you bring any of these items into the testing area. You are re responsible for securing these items in a safe place prior to testing. You will also receive a failed test score if you leave the knowledge testing area before your test is completed. Road test items: valid North Dakota operator's permit. Applicants less than 16 years of age are required to present a driver's EDU (CAT I) and certificate of training. See page four road test waiver details. Applies to ages 15 and older. Applicants under 16 must be a compa, need by a parent or a legal guardian. Applicant must provide current vehicle registration for vehicle used during road test. Applicant must provide current proof of insurance for vehicle used during road test. All road test vehicles must pass an equipment inspection prior to road test. Arrive early for your appointment to ensure everything is in order for your scheduled test. Pets, except medical alert slash service ani, mals, passengers, and electronic da, 
devices such as cell phones, iPods, etc., will not be allowed in the vehicle during the road test. Self-parking vehicles are not allowed. The AP plicant must test in a different vehicle or DEEC. Tivate the self-parking feature. Vehicle inspection. Part of your responsibility as a driver is to keep your vehicle in safe running condition. You must allow driver examiner personnel to inspect your vehicle. Before you take your road test, your vehicle will be inspected. In order to pass inspection, your vehicle must be currently registered and have the following equipment in proper work. ING order. Brakes for stopping and parking. Headlights with high and low beams. Brake lights and taillights. Turn signals. A leak-free exhaust system, including a muffler. Doors. Function from inside and outside of vehicle. A horn clearly audible for 200 feet. Mirrors. One or more so that you can see the road 200 feet behind you. Seat belts. A windshield and windows. All made of safety glass. If tinted, a light transmittance of 70% for the windshield and at least 50% for other windows is required. Windshield wipers. Note, the road test will not be administered if the above items or any other factors lend themselves to an unsafe vehicle or unsafe working environment. Your operator's license. Any person other than a non-resident student, a tourist, or a non-resident member of the armed forces who has lived in the state for 90 consecutive days shall be deemed a resi, Dent of North Dakota, for the purpose of driver licensing. You may operate a Class D or MV, Heichel with an operator's license from another state for a period of 60 days after you become a resident of North Dakota. Then you are required to take the necessary tests to obtain a North Dakota operator's license. Class A, B, or C vehicle operators have 30 days in which to acquire a North Dakota commercial driver license. Proof of North Dakota resident ad. Dress is required. By knowing and understanding the rules of the road, and by demonstrating your ability to operate your vehicle, you will earn the privy, leg of driving in North Dakota. Except for the exemptions listed, all North Dakota residents must have a valid North Dakota operator's license or permit in order. To drive in North Dakota. For your operator's license or permit to be valid, it must be signed by you. You must have this license or permit in your possession every time you drive. Exemptions. Non-residents at least 16 years of age who have in their possession valid licenses from their home state or country include ING members of the armed forces while stationed in North Dakota. A non-resident must be at least 16 years of age to drive in North Dakota. Employees of the United States govern, meant or North Dakota National Guard while operating a government vehicle on official business. North Dakota residents on active duty in the armed forces outside North Dakota. If these people held a valid operator's license when they left the state, it will remain valid until 30 days after discharge or separation from the service. People who cannot get a license. Those under 16 years of age and less elegy, flee for a restricted license. People whose licenses are revoked or SUS, pended in this or any other state. Applicants who have been determined to be addicted to drugs or alcohol, or those considered to be a hazard to public safe, tie on our roadways because of mental or physical disability. Persons who have a history of epilepsy, blackouts, seizures, fainting spells, or other lapse of consciousness. Exception to number four, the person in question has had no seizures for at least six consecutive months and is willing to submit to the required medical examination. Permits. Instruction permits allow you to legally prac Tice driving. Any time you operate with an in. Structown permit. A person with a valid license for the class of vehicle being driven, who is at least 18 years of age and has had at least three years of driving experience, must ride in the seat beside you. An individual other than the supervising driver and the permit holder may not be in the front seat unless the V, Heichel, has only a front seat, in which case, the supervising driver must be seated next to the permit holder. 
To receive a permit, you must first pass the knowledge examination at a driver license office or at ndd.notodrive.com and the VISU Al screen test. All applicants must be at least 14 years of age. Applicants under 18 years of age must have parent or legal guardian approval and sponsorship. The sponsorship must be signed by the father, mother, or legal guardian. Guardianship papers required. If the father, mother, or legal guardian is unable to appear, they may designate, through a no, terrorized document, an individual temporarily authorized to sign. Financial liability remains with the father, mother, or legal guardian. If there is no living parent or legal guardian, and other adults swearing responsibility for the me, nor may sign the sponsorship. Individuals who are 14 or 15 years old must hold the instruction permit for 12 months or to the age of 16, whichever comes first, but no less than six months, prior to completing the road test or waiving the road test for an operator's license. Individuals who are 16 or 17 must hold the instruction permit for six months or to the age of 18, whichever comes first, prior to COMLET, ING the road test or waiving the road test for an operator's license. Individuals under 16 must complete a mini, mum of 50 hours of supervised practice drive, ING in variable conditions. Your parent slash legal guardian must then accompany you to the test site on the day of your road test and sign that you have completed this requirement. Note, this is in addition to the formal drive, ERS education requirement. Road Test Waiver The Class D road test may be waived by PRE, Sentang a North Dakota Driving School SER. Certificate of Course Completion certifying you have completed a minimum of 30 hours of classroom driver training and a minimum of 6 hours of actual behind-the-wheel driver training that has been approved for waiver purposes by the Director of the North. Dakota Department of Transportation the Class D road test may also be waived by presenting a North Dakota Department of Public Instruction Student Completion Certify. Kate certifying you have completed a minimum of 30 hours of classroom driver training and a minimum of 6 hours of actual behind-the-wheel driver training that has been approved for waiver purposes by the Director of the North Dakota Department of Transportation. It is a two-point penalty on your driving record for driving in violation of the conditions of an instruction permit. Additional penalties and statutory fees are listed in the North Dakota Century Code, NDCC, Chapter 39-6.1 to Disposition of TRAF, FIC Offenses. A student enrolled in the high school driver ed. Education program may operate the driver EDU, cat iron vehicle without an operator's license or permit while under the supervision of a certified operator training instructor. If the school district sponsoring the training program has appropriate, Eight insurance coverage for the student opera, tour. To be eligible for behind-the-wheel training, an applicant must be at least 14 years of age. Motorcycle. If you are 14 or 15 years old, you may receive a license to operate a motorcycle by successfully completing an approved motor, cycle safety course, and passing the motorcycle knowledge test. You must present a motorcycle safety course completion certificate to obtain a license. Motorized bicycle permits. To operate a MO, tourized bicycle, you must be at least 14 years of age or older and have in your immediate POS. Session a valid operator's license. Motorized by. Cycle permit. Temporary permit. Instruction per. MIT or motorcycle permit. Applying for a license or permit. Applications for an operator's license or permit are made with the Driver License Division of the Department of Transportation. Proof of identification is required. All applicants must present proof of current name, date of birth, and legal presence in the United States. Acceptable forms of identification are U.S. Birth Certificate, State Certified, Gov, Earnman Issued, U.S. Territory Birth Certificate, Certified by Issuing Authority, Valid unexpired U.S. passport or valid unexpired U.S. passport card. Report of birth abroad issued by the U.S. Department of State. Certificate of naturalization. Certificate of citizenship. Valid unexpired permanent resident card. Valid unexpired employment authorizer. Tie-in card. Temporary status. Valid unexpired foreign passport with I. 
94. Temporary Status. Valid I. 94 Card Stamped Refugee, Parole, or Asylee, Temporary Status. No photocopies. No hospital certificates. All documents must be original or certified COP, IS only. If your current name is different than the name on your identity document, you will need to bring additional proof of your legal name. Acceptable documents for proof of name change are a certified marriage certificate, a certified adoption document, or a certified court order authorizing a name change, no photocopies, court seal required. You will not be allowed to test or obtain a North Dakota permit, license, or non, drive, or identification card without proper identification. Applicants born in North Dakota may obtain a copy of their certified birth certificate by CON, tacting by till records at the North Dakota DA, Department of Health, visit www.ndhealth.gov vital for details. Proof of Social Security Number As authorized by NDCC June 7, 39 and 39-06, 3.1, all applications for permit, license, or identify, cation card must contain the individual's social security number. The document must contain name and full social security number. Proof is required by presenting one of the following documents. Social Security Card, Actual Blue and White Card, W-2 Form, SSA-1099 Form, Non-SSA-1099 Form, Pay Stub, Proof of North Dakota Resi, Denke Address, Proof of North Dakota Residence Address, Place of Domicile, is required by PRE, sending two documents from the list B. Low. All documents presented for status, factory proof of resident address, must be the most currently issued document. Acceptable documents for proof of address are Most current government issued property tax statement Current mortgage slash lease slash rental document Current homeowners slash renters insurance poll, IC Current utility bill, electricity, gas, water, so, er, cable, recycle School slash college transcript issued within six months. Current financial statement issued by Finan, Sile Institution, Government Entity, Govern, Ment Regulated Entity. Current pay stub or statement from employer. Current vehicle insurance policy slash statement. Non expired current resident certificate or identification card with physical address is sued by a North Dakota tribal agency. Current formal resident statement issued by property owner slash renter. Current relief agency or shelter certification. All documents must contain your name and physical residence address. Post office boxes are not acceptable for residence address. Examinations. You must make an appointment to visit one of the driver license offices, or you may take your knowledge test immediately at nd.notodrive.com. Cooperation with the examiner. The applicant must at all times cooperate with the examiners by following their instructions. License applicants must furnish their own vehicle for the road test. The vehicle equipment will be inspected. All equipment must be in good working order and display current registration. Pets, except medical alert slash service animals, passengers, and electronic devices will not be allowed in the vehicle during the road test. In order to pass, you must follow instruct tie-ins, keep in the proper lane, give the proper signals, parallel park your vehicle, demon, straight good driving posture, and obey all traffic signs and traffic laws. If you fail any of the tests, you will not be allowed to retake the examination the same day. All applicants less than 16 years of age must be accompanied by one of their parents or a legal guardian when they appear before the examiner for the road test. The parent or legal guardian will be required to sign an authorization stating the need for the child. To operate a vehicle without being a com, pawnied by an adult. If you are 14 or 15 years old, you may be issued a permit to operate your parents, guardians, grandparents, siblings, aunts or uncles Class D non-commercial vehicle. You may operate a vehicle that is not your parents or guardians to take the road test. You must present a driver education certificate of training when you report for the road test. 
To obtain the certificate, you must complete 30 hours of classroom and 6 hours of behind-the-wheel training through the Department of Public Instruction or COM. Complete 6 hours of behind-the-wheel training through a commercial driver training school approved by the North Dakota Department of Transportation. Go to www.dot.gov for a list of approved driving schools. See page 4 Road Test Waiver for Certificate of Course Completion and Student Compul, Tie-In Certificate Requirements, Organ, Tissue, and Eye Donation. Thousands of people are waiting for a life salve, ING, or life-enhancing organ, tissue, or cornea transplant. Licensed drivers, or those at least 14 years of age and applying for their driver Lee, since permit in the state of North Dakota, can make a personal commitment to organ, tissue, and eye donation by checking the Yes box on the application form. You may also register online at www.dot.nd.gov. This donor indica, Tyan serves as your consent. It is important to discuss your decision with your family MEM, bears, and make them aware of your wishes. Organs and tissues that can be donated in include heart, lungs, liver, kidney, pancreas, intestines, skin, heart valves, bone, and ten, dons, and ligaments. Organs are allocated to recipients based upon medical urgency, length of time waiting, genetic matching, and geography. Anyone can be a donor, regardless of age and health conditions. The donation process does not prevent an open casket funeral. Donors are treated with great care and dignity, and there is no charge for donation to the donors. Family. If you are under the age of 18, your parents will be asked to affirm your decision. For more information about organ, tissue, and eye donation, contact LifeSource at 1-888-536-6283 or visit www.donatelyfend.org. Donatelyfend.org. Minor's Driver License Upon successful completion of the road test, a 15-year-old will be issued a Restricted Class D Operator's License. While in PS, session of a Restricted Class D Operator's License, the driver is restricted to operating his or her parents, guardians, grandpa, aunts, siblings, aunts, or uncles' vehicles. At age 15, when in possession of a RE, Strict Class D Operator's License, the in Individual is not allowed to operate a vehicle without his or her parent, legal guardian, or an individual at least 18 years of age B, between the later of sunset or 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. The only exception to this is drive, ING directly to or from work, an official school activity, or a religious activity. At age 16, the restricted Class D operator's license transitions to an unrestricted license. Anyone, regardless of age, who is OPRAT, ING a vehicle with an instruction permit and licensed drivers under the age of 18 are prohibited from using electronic communi, cat ion devices, while driving. This includes a device to talk, compose, read, or send electronic messages. The only exception is to obtain emergency assistance to pre vent a crime that appears about to be calm, mit, or in the reasonable belief that an individual's life or safety is in danger. The director shall cancel the permit or lee, sense of a minor under 18 years of age who accumulates six or more points on their driving record or commits an alcohol-related offense or a drug-related offense while operating a motor vehicle. This in includes minor in possession or minor in consumption of alcoholic beverage. A minor under 18 whose permit or license has been canceled in this manner will be considered as never having had a permit. Or license before. An instruction permit will be issued after successful completion of the knowledge and vision tests. A road test will be administered after successful completion of driver's education and the required holding period of the permit. See page 1. In the event of a cancellation, driver's education requirements may be met by completing 30 hours of classroom and 6 hours of behind-the-wheel training through the Department of Public Instruct, tie-in or 6 hours of behind-the-wheel train. 
ING through a commercial driver training school approved by the North Dakota DA, Department of Transportation, or by Comblet, ING, an approved internet driver education course, and 30 hours of driving supervised by a parent or legal guardian. The points total does not automatically go back to zero when the cancellation requirements are fulfilled. See page 39 for point reduction. Restrictions. Depending upon your particular capabilities as a driver, your permit or license may be restrict. Standard restrictions. Corrective lenses. Outside mirrors. Automatic transmission. Special hand controls. Daylight driving only. Proof of financial responsibility. Nine other. Explanation of restriction will be printed on reverse side of permit or license. If you permanently lose the use of a hand, arm, foot, leg, or eye, you must report it to Driver License Division, North Dakota Depart, Ment of Transportation, 608, East Boulevard Avenue, Bismarck, North Dakota, 58505-0750, NDCC June 14, 39. Renewals. You may be eligible to renew your license online. To determine your eligibility, please visit www.dot.nd.gov. Your present license is valid for a certain peri, OD of time depending on the date on which you apply. The license expires on midnight of your birthday or the duration of stay date if an M. Migration document is presented for proof of identity, not to exceed the usual licensing psi, CLE period. You may renew your license 10 months prior to expiration without losing any time remaining on the old license. All renewal applicants must submit to a vision test at the time of renewal or present a SER, certificate of vision obtained from a physician or optometrist. The certificate must not be more than six months old. For more information, contact any driver's license office or the Driver License Division, North Dakota Department of Transportation, 608 East Boulevard Avenue, Bismarck, North Dakota, 58505. 0750. Duplicate licenses slash permits. You must apply for a duplicate operator's license or permit if your license or permit is lost, contains any wrong information, or is mutilated so that it cannot be read. This is done by visiting a driver's license office. You must present proof of identity and documentary evidence for a name or date of birth change, such as a certified or amended birth certificate, certified marriage certificate, divorce decree, or legal name change through the court. You may be eligible for an online duplicate lee since. To determine your eligibility, please visit www.dot.nd.gov. Change of name or address. If you change your name or address, you must notify the Driver License Division within 10 days. You must provide documentary evi, denke of the change. Please visit our web, site at www.dot.nd.gov for a list of acceptable documents. Registering your motor vehicle. North Dakota law requires that a motor V, Heichel be registered immediately in North Dakota when the owner or operator becomes a resident of the state or becomes gainfully employed in the state. Two registration options are available. Obtain a North Dakota title and purchase a vehicle license valid through the end of the registration period. We recommend this option if your present registration will expire during the time you expect to be in North Dakota. All vehicles must have liable. ITY insurance. Vehicle owners shall not per MIT a vehicle to be driven without a policy of liability insurance. As a driver, you should be sure that the vehicle you are driving is properly insured. Purchase a temporary registration permit if the vehicle license from another state is still current and if you plan to be in North Dakota only a short time. The permits are available for 6 months or 12 months. A. $10 service fee is charged in addition to the registration fee each time a permit is purchased or renewed. The vehicle Regis, Tration card must be carried in the vehicle at all times. Contact the NDDOT Motor Vehicle Division at 701-328-2725 for all vehicle questions.
classes of licenses. North Dakota has five classes of operator's licenses. Each class requires its own written exam and a demonstration of driving skill for that class of license. This manual prepares you for the Class D license only. Class A, any combination of vehicles with a gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR, or gross vehicle weight of 26,001 pounds or more, whichever is greater, provided the vehicle be. ING towed has a GVWR or gross vehicle weight of 10,001 pounds or more, whichever is great, or may also operate Class B, C, and D vehicle groups, but not a Class M unless endorsed. Class B, any single vehicle with a GVWR or gross vehicle weight of 26,001 pounds or more, whichever is greater, may tow a vehicle not in excess of 10,000 pounds. May also operate Class C and D vehicle groups, but not Class M unless endorsed. Class C, any single vehicle with a Jeep WR of 26,000 pounds or less that is designed to transport 16 or more passengers, including the driver or is transporting hazardous materials under 49 CFR Part 172, placarded material, and 42 CFR Part 73. May tow a vehicle not in excess of 10,000 pounds. May also operate a Class D vehicle, but not a Class M unless endorsed. Class D, any single vehicle less than 26,001 pounds GWR may tow trailers not over 10,000 pounds GWR. Note, must be 18 years of age or under farm exemption if combined weight exceeds 26,000 pounds. Trucks towing trailers over 10,000 pounds, provided the combined weight does not exceed 26,000 gross combination weight rating. Not valid for Class A, B, C, or M unless endorsed. An emergency vehicle, RV, camper, vehicle driven by active duty member for military per, poses, or a vehicle towing a travel trailer B, ING used solely for personal purposes may be driven with a Class D license. The following may also be operated on a Class D license, farm exemption. Age May 15th drive a farm vehicle within 150 miles of driver's farm, having a gross weight of not more than 50,000 pounds, when transporting agricultural products or farm supplies. Any two-axle, tandem axle, or triple axle, or truck tractor farm vehicle controlled and op, air at by a farmer transporting agricultural products, farm machines, or farm supplies to or from a farm within 150 miles of the per. Sons Farm. Farm vehicle may tow a trailer, semi-trailer, or farm trailer except double or triple trailers, or if under 18 years of age, a truck tractor. Any farm vehicle operated by a farmer may. Transport hazardous material within 150 miles of the farm without a hazardous mate, Real endorsement on the operator's license. Covered farm vehicles may also be OPER, aided on a Class D license. These are V, vehicles used for farm or ranch purposes that display either farm registration plates or are identified by a designation that clear, LY identifies the vehicle as a farm vehicle in North Dakota. Form SFEN 60860 avail, able on our website at www dot.nd.gov. A covered farm vehicle with a gross V, Heichel weight, GVW, or gross vehicle weight rating, GVWR, whichever is greater, of 26,001 pounds or less, may be operated anywhere in the United States. A covered farm vehicle with a GVW or GVWR, whichever is greater, of more than 26,001 pounds may be operated within the state where it is registered, or if traveling outside of the state, within 150 air miles of the owner or operator's farm or ranch. Class M, any two or three-wheeled motor, cycle. Signs, signals, and road markings. Signs. We use three basic kinds of signs on our streets and highways, regulatory signs, warning signs, and guide signs. Some, but not all, of the signs you will see are shown here. Regulatory signs. Regulatory signs control and regulate traffic. They give mandatory instructions to the driver. Most are white with black letters or red with white letters. 
The stop sign is the only eight sighted sign. The stop sign tells you that you must come to a complete stop before the stop line or crosswalk area. If there is no stop line or crosswalk, stop as near as possible B for the intersection where you can safely see traffic approach, ING from all directions. The yield sign means that you must yield the right of way. The sign tells you to slow down and stop if necessary so you can yield the right of way. The speed limit sign is an X, ample of a regulatory sign showing the maximum speed permitted under ideal condi, tie-ins. These signs will normally be found on the right-hand side of streets and highways. The one-way sign tells you that traffic on that particular road flows in the direction of the AR, row only. The wrong-way sign tells you that you are go, ing the wrong way on a street, freeway, or a ramp. The do not enter sign pro, hibits the driver from enter, ing a restricted road section. Some regulatory signs prohibit certain AC tie-ins. These signs are square with black lead, tearing on a white background. A red circle with a red slash indicates the action that is forbid, den. Above signs are, no U-turn, no right turn, no trucks, no left turn. Some states use the yellow pennant-shaped warning sign in addition to the rectangle, do not pass. The rectangular, do not pass sign is placed on the right side of the road while the pennant-shaped sign is found on the left-hand side. This sign prohibits a right turn on a red light at selected intersections. Some inter sections display the sign electronically. Two-way left turn only signs are used when a lane in the center of the roadway is to be used only by left turning B, hikles in either direction. The center lane is not intended to be used for passing or over, taking. These signs tell you how to interpret traffic signals when you want to make a left turn. Pay close attention to the message on each one to make the turn safely. Warning signs. Warning signs are used to warn you of potent, tiley hazardous conditions ahead so that you will proceed with extra caution. These signs are yellow with a black legend. These warning signs indicate curves or turns in the road. They give you time to reduce your speed before you enter the curve or turn. They are often supplemented with an advi, Sorry speed sign showing the maximum wreck, amended speed to negotiate the curve or turn. These signs warn you of a reduction in the number of traffic lanes ahead. Be sure to move safely into the proper lane. The roadway will gain an add, additional lane of traffic. New traffic will not have to merge. The median or divided high way ends. The median or divided high way begins and the traffic is separated. The road has two-way traffic. Traffic may be moving into your lane from the right side. These warning signs indicate intersections on the road. Be aware of vehicles entering the flow of traffic. Pedestrian signs. Maybe fluorescent yellow-green or standard yellow in color. Watch out for pedestrians crossing the road. Pedestrian crosswalk. Yield ahead bump in the road. Ahead. Slow down to avoid loss of control. School signs. Maybe fluorescent yellow-green or standard yellow in color. Or, watch for bicyclists when you see the sign. Slow down because this road is slippery when wet. This sign tells you a school or a marked school crossing is ahead. School ahead. Or, this sign warns you of a crosswalk for school children. School crosswalk. Special warning signs. Traffic signal ahead deer crossing. The railroad advance warning sign is round with black lettering on a yellow background. The sign in dicates that you are near ING a railroad crossing. You should slow down so that you can safely stop if a train is coming. Slow moving vehicle signs are shaped like a triangle. They are orange with a red reflect tive border. This sign is mounted on the rear of vehicles or equipment B. ING towed at a speed of 25 miles per hour or less. Slow down and use CA, tie-in. Construction and maintenance devices. Special signs and traffic control devices are used in highway work zones. Most signs in work areas are diamond-shaped. A few signs are rectangular. These signs are orange with a black legend. You may also see electronic signs that display changing messages. Slow down through construction and maintenance zones. 
Failure to comply with work zone speed limits carries an $80 minimum fee when work is in progress and workers are present. Channelizing devices. Barricades, vertical panels, drums, cones, and tubes are the most commonly used uh, devices to alert drivers of conditions in highway and street work areas and to guide drivers safely through the work zone. The diagonal stripes on the barricade or verti cal panel guide the driver towards the direct tie into which traffic is to pass. Stripes sloping downward to the right mean the driver should keep to the right. Conversely, stripes sloping downward to the left mean keep to the left. Flashing arrow panels. Large flashing or sequencing arrow panels may be used in work zones both day and night to direct drivers into certain traffic lanes and to inform them that part of the road or street ahead of them is closed. The arrow panel may also be used in a caution mode. Guide Guide Caution Flag Persons Flag persons are often provided in highway and street work zones to stop, slow, or guide traffic safely through the area. Flat persons wear orange, yellow, strong yellow-green, or fluorescent vests, shirts, or jackets, and use red flags or stop-slash-slow paddles to direct traffic through work zones. Work Zone Safety Tips Pay attention. Work zones contain many hazards such as uneven pavement, narrow lanes, heavy equipment, and loose gravel. Slow down. Most crashes in the summer months are related to excessive speeds. Remember, Workers are just inches away from traffic. Watch for signs. Over 25,000 serious in juries occur nationally in work zones each year. See orange signs. 98% of work zone fatalities are trav, ellers. Motorists and passengers suffer most of the traffic casualties in work zones. Work zones can appear at any time of day. Road crews work both night and day. Watch where you are going, especially at night. Guide signs. Guide signs provide information about direct, tie-ins, distances, available services, points of interest, and other geographical, recreational, or cultural information. Guide signs are rectangular in shape, though their colors vary according to their message. Signs which give direction are rectangular in shape. The let, ters are white on a green back, ground. These signs give in for Mat eye on about the direction of and distance to your destination. They give information about junctions and routes as well. Milepost signs are long rect angles. The letters are white on a green background. The number bears on these signs tell you how many miles you are from the south or west border of the state or origin of the route within the state. Service signs are rectangular. The symbols are white on a blue background. Hospital telephone. Gas. This is a special sign. The SIM, Bowl of Access sign, indicates that facilities such as rest areas are free of barriers to people with mobility impairments. Recreational area signs are rectangular. The symbols are white on a brown background. Signals. Traffic signals. Like signs, traffic signals can do their job only if everyone follows the rules. A red indication means stop. As with the stop sign, you must stop at a marked stop line or before a cross, walk. Remain stopped until the light changes and the in, to section is clear of pedes, trians and vehicles. A yellow indication means warning or caution. The light is changing from green to red. Green means go, but only if the intersection is clear. A green arrow means you may enter the intersection to make the movement indicat, ed by the arrow. If the green arrow comes on at a red light, you may turn in the direction of the arrow. You must yield the right of way to all pedes, trians and vehicles already in the intersection. Note, you may turn right on a red light AF to stopping when the intersection is clear of both pedestrians and vehicles unless there is a sign prohibiting a right turn on a red light. You may turn left on a red light from a one-way street onto a one-way street unless there is a sign prohibiting this. If the traffic signals are dark, for example in the event of a power outage, the driver of a vehicle shall stop and yield the right of way to any vehicle in the intersection. Flashing Indications Some traffic signals are operated like flashing beacons late at night or when traffic volumes are light. Flashing red means the same thing as a stop sign stop. Pro, 
seed when the intersection is clear of pedestrians and vehicles. Flashing yellow at an intersection means proceed with caution, left. Turn indications. Steady red, maintenance devices. Steady yellow, flashing yellow. Steady green, pavement markings. Pavement markings are like traffic signs and signals. They direct and control the smooth and orderly movement of traffic. Broken yellow center lines are used on two-lane, two-way roads. You may cross them only to turn left or to pass an other vehicle. What drivers should know? Stop. Left-turning drivers must stop and wait. Warning caution. The left turn signal is changing to red. Caution. You may cautiously turn left after yielding to oncom, ING traffic, and to pedestrians. Oncoming traffic will typically have a green light. Go. Left turning drivers have the right of way. One solid line with one broken line means no passing when you are in the lane with the solid line. The solid line may be crossed only to turn left. Two solid yellow lines on a two-lane road means no pass, ING, in either direction. Cross, ING, the center line is permitted only as part of a left turn maneuver. Undivided roadway. Multi-lane, two-way road. Way, crossing the center, line is permitted only as part of a left turn maneuver. Divided roadways. This is a multi-lane roadway with a divider separating the traffic flow. Two-way left turn lane. The center lane is re, served only for left turning vehicles in either direct, tie-in, passing or overtack. ING is not permitted in the center lane. At many busy intersections, there are specially designated left and right turn lanes. If you wish to turn left, you must use the special left turn lane. If you wish to turn right, you must use the special right turn lane. Some inter sections have more than one turn lane. Stop intersections. At an intersection where a stop is required, you must follow these pavement markings. Unmarked crosswalk. Where there are no lines at an intersection, you must stop your vehicle before N, tearing the crosswalk, side, walk area, or if there is no crosswalk, you must stop before your vehicle enters the intersection. Stop lines are wide, white lines that show you where to stop your vehicle before enter, ING and intersection. When stop lines and cross, walk lines are used together, you must stop your vehicle before crossing the stop line. Crosswalk lines are A. Pair of white lines or longitude, dynal lines that mark where pedestrians will walk. Do not block the crosswalk with your vehicle. Railroad crossings. Railroad crossings can be marked with SEV, arrow different types of devices, warning signs, pavement markings, cross bucks, and signal lights. Some railroad crossings are marked by all four of these devices, and some cross ings are marked by only one or a combination of devices. Watch for these warning devices. And when you see them, look, listen, and slow down. You may have to stop. These advance warning signs warn you that a railroad crossing is ahead. Begin to slow down and be prepared to stop. This is a cross buck. It is found at railroad crossings. If there is more than one track, the sign below tells you the number of tracks. Make sure all the tracks are clear and no trains are AP proiking before you cross. For safety, never stop or park on railroad tracks for any reason. If a stop is required, make sure you stop your vehicle prior to the railroad crossing. When approaching multiple tracks, please remember that an additional train can be approaching from the opposite direction that the previous train has cleared. If your vehicle is trapped or stuck on the tracks, evacuate your vehicle and walk in the direction of the oncoming train and away from the tracks at a 45 degree angle. If your VEHI, CLE, is struck by a moving train, the debris will spread out from the tracks in the same direct, tie in the train is moving. Then call the EMER, Sensi Notification System, ENES, number to report the emergency and then call 911. Pavement markings may be used with the cross, buck at railroad crossings. When a train is crossing, stop at least 15 feet B for the crossing. At some crossings, gates and red flashing lights are used. Do not cross the tracks when the red lights are flashing and never drive around the gates when they are down. 
school buses, vehicles carrying explosives or flammable liquids such as gasoline trucks, and buses carrying passengers must stop at railroad crossings. These vehicles must stop within 50 feet and not less than 15 feet from the tracks. Watch out for them and do not pass them when they are stopped at the crossing. Remember, railroad crossings are always dangerous. Every crossing must be approached with the expectation that a train is coming. Types of crossings. Passive crossings. This type of crossing does not have any type of traffic control device. The decision to stop or proceed rests entirely in your hands. Passive crossing re require you to recognize the crossing, search for any train using the tracks, and decide if there is sufficient clear space to cross safe, LY. Passive crossings have a yellow circular advance warning signs, pavement markings, and cross buck to assist you in recognizing a crossing. Active crossings. This type of crossing has a traffic control device installed at the crossing to regulate traffic at the crossing. These AC TIVE devices include flashing red lights with or without bells and flashing red lights with bells and gates. Emergency Notification System, ENUS. The Federal Railroad Administration posts emergency phone numbers on railroad cross, ING posts, or the metal control boxes near the tracks. Call this number if you see an obstruct, tie-in on the railroad tracks or any other prob, lems at a railroad crossing, such as the lights or gates are not working properly. Current ENES phone numbers are Amtrak 1-800-331-0008, BNSF Railway 1-800-832-5452, Canadian Pacific 1-800-716-9132, ENS sign sample. Hand signals. Even though vehicles are equipped with ELEC, Trical turn and brake lights, you should know the basic hand signals as well. All turn signals of intention to turn must be given continuous, LY during the last 100 feet before the turn. MO, tourists must also be able to recognize hand signals given by motorcyclists and bicyclists and give them sufficient space to execute their signaled maneuvers as they would in other vehicle rules of the road right of way right of way rules are a means of establish ing orderly traffic movement if everyone fall lows these rules crashes can be reduced unfortunately there are many operators who ignore the rules. For this reason, you must drive defensively. Always be ready to yield to those who do not follow the right-of-way rules. If you see an obstruct, tie-in on the railroad tracks or any other prop, lems at a railroad crossing, such as the lights or gates, are not working properly. Current ENES phone numbers are When two vehicles approach an unsigned intersection at approximately the same time, the vehicle on the left side must yield to the vehicle on the right. When enter, ING and intersection. It is recommended to look first to your left, then to your right, and then left again. Be prepared to yield. At an uncontrolled T intersection, the V, Heichel on the terminating street must yield to vehicles on the continuing street. Vehicles turning left must yield to oncom, ING traffic. Watch for vehicles passing on the right side of a vehicle turning left. At a four-way stop, the vehicle that stops first goes first. If one vehicle goes out of turn, yield to that V, Heichel, so that you do not cause a crash. Pedestrians in marked or unmarked cross, walks have the right of way. Drivers must yield when pedestrians are in the driver's lane of travel. Pedestrians carrying white canes or with guide dogs are blind or have greatly reduced vision. Just as in other pedestrian situations, motorists are required to yield or stop for anyone who may have begun crossing a street. When stopping at an intersection, be sure to stop behind the cross. Walk to allow the visually impaired traveler an unobstructed path. At times, the person who is blind may choose to wait for optimal traffic conditions. The key to safety is based on careful observance of the pedestrian and common courtesy. Motorists and pedestrian, ANS should not distract a guide dog in any way. These friendly, intelligent dogs must. Focus on the commands of their owner. Vehicles entering or crossing a roadway from a private drive must yield to all oncom, 
ING traffic. Vehicles emerging from a driveway, alley, private road, or building within a business or residential district must come to a calm. Please stop immediately prior to crossing a sidewalk area and, if no sidewalk, vehicles must stop before entering the roadway. You may not make a U-turn near the crest of a hill or any curve where the driver cannot see 500 feet or more. Emergency vehicles always have the right of way. When an emergency or law enforcement vehicle is flashing its red, white, or blue lights or using its siren, you must immediately come to a stop along the right-hand curb or edge of the road. You must remain stopped until the emergency or law enforce meant vehicle has passed. Do not stop in the middle of the intersection. When an emergency or law enforcement vehicle is parked at the scene of a crash with its emergency lights flashing, you must drive to the right-hand side of the roadway and stop. Once stopped, you may pass at your risk when the roadway is clear. If there is a police officer directing traffic at the scene, you must obey the officer's instruct. Tie-ins. If an emergency vehicle, law enforce, meant vehicle, or North Dakota Department of Transportation Maintenance Vehicle is parked on the interstate system or a multi-lane highway with its emergency or work lights flashing. Move over to the opposite lane and proceed with due caution. The yellow flashing light is used mostly on tow trucks and slow-moving vehicles. These lights warn you to slow down. When a school bus is stopped and flashing its red lights, drivers approaching from both directions must stop. This is because Chiel, Dren are being loaded or unloaded. The drivers cannot proceed until 1. The bus B. Jin's moving. Or 2. The bus driver signals to let vehicles pass. Or 3. The red lights are no longer flashing. When a school bus is equipped with yellow caution lights, these lights may be used as a warning that the school bus is about to stop and that the red flashing lights will soon come on. B.S. Silly alert every time you see a school bus. Speed limits. Speed limits are maximum limits to be trav, yield only when driving conditions are ideal. Sometimes conditions may require you to drive slower than the posted speed limit owl lows. Never drive faster than the posted speed limit or conditions allow. Authorities may also post minimum speed limits if deemed nieces. Sorry for the safe movement of traffic. Maximum speed limits in North Dakota have been established as follows. 20 miles per hour when approaching any railway crossing when your view of the track is obstructed, unless otherwise posted. 20 miles per hour when approaching an intersection when your view of the intersect, tie-in is in any way obstructed, unless otherwise posted. 20 miles per hour when you pass by a school during school recess or while chill, Dren are going to or leaving school during opening or closing hours of school, unless otherwise posted. 25 miles per hour in a business or resident, tile district, unless otherwise posted. 55 miles per hour on gravel, dirt, or loose surface roads, unless otherwise posted, and on paved Tulane County and Township highways if there is no speed limit posted. 65 miles per hour on rural paved two-lane highways if posted for that speed. 70 miles per hour on paved and divided multi-lane highways, unless otherwise posted. 75 miles per hour on rural interstate highways, unless otherwise posted. Passing. On two-way roads, you must drive on the right hand side of the roadway, when you pass you are driving against the flow of the oncoming traffic. Before you pass another vehicle, ask yourself these questions. Is the pass necessary? Am I in or approaching a no-passing zone? Whenever there is a hill or a curve ahead, you must treat it as if there is oncoming traffic, FIC just beyond it. Can I return to my lane before meeting an approaching vehicle? Can I see the road ahead clearly? Some guidelines for passing. Give yourself enough time to get completely beyond the vehicle that you are passing and return to your proper lane at least 200 feet before meeting an approaching vehicle. Do not return to your lane until you can see the image of the entire front of the vehicle you passed within the inside rearview mirror. When passing, never leave the main trav, yield roadway. When being passed, do not speed up. Do not follow too closely. Obey all regulatory and warning signs. Never pass. 
while approaching the top of a hill or a curve. Within 100 feet of an intersection, a railroad crossing, or a tunnel. When you see any pavement marking or sign indicating NO passing. When your view of the road is reduced or obstructed by fog, snow, or rain. Many head-on collisions occur while one V, Heichel, is passing another. Even while driving in the left lane of a four-lane highway, be aware that you might collide with a vehicle going the wrong way. Lane changes. If you must change lanes, make sure the lane is clear and signal your movement. If posse, blee, avoid changing lanes within an intersect, tie-in. Be sure to keep a safe following distance, safe space, from the vehicle ahead of you. Check your mirrors and look over your shoal, dirt for vehicles behind you and already in the other lane. Be aware of blind spots or areas where mirrors fail to pick up approaching traff, FIC. Signal prior to making the lane change. Change only one lane at a time and be sure to cancel your signal when you complete the lane change. Remember, the driver of the vehicle MAC, ING the lane change, is responsible for safely changing lanes. Following and stopping distances. If you drive too fast or follow too close, you will not have enough time to stop in an Emmer, Jensi. At 55 miles per hour, it takes a proxy, mainly 300 feet or one city block on dry pave, meant to stop. When one vehicle follows another, there must be enough distance between them to allow for a passing vehicle to come into that space without any danger. If the vehicle in front of you suddenly stops, you should be far enough behind so that you can come to a stop safely. The three-second rule is a way to Maya, Sure, the distance that you should use as a cushion when following another vehicle. Here's how it works. Pick a shadow, mark, or object on or near the road ahead. When the rear bumper of the vehicle ahead of you passes the mark, start counting the seconds it takes you to reach the same spot. Count 1,001, 1, 1,002, 1,003. If you reach the spot before you count 1,003, you are following too closely. Sometimes you need even more following distance as much as four or more seconds. This is especially true when the roads are slippery. Following motorcycles. You have a heavy load or are pulling a trail or following large vehicles that block your view ahead. The driver behind you wants to pass. Following drivers whose view to the rear is blocked. Turning. When making any turn, you should check both ways for traffic and pedestrians. You must also signal continuously for the last 100 feet before the turn. When approaching an intersection to make a right turn, stay as far to the right as possible. Make the turn close to the right curb. To turn left from a one-way road onto a two-way road, begin in the left turn lane and complete the turn as indicated in the picture. To turn left from a one-way to a one-way, be Gin the turn from the left lane. Make the turn close to the left curb. When turning left from a two-way road onto a two-way road, begin as close to the sin, to line as possible and complete the turn as indicated in the picture. To turn left from a two-way road onto a one-way road, approach the turn with your left wheels close to the center line of the road. Make the turn before reaching the center of the intersection and enter the left lane of the one-way road. To turn left from a two-way road onto a four-lane highway, approach the turn with your left wheels close to the center line of the road. Make the turn so that you enter the passing lane of the four-lane highway. When traffic permits, move to the right, out of the passing lane. Roundabouts a roundabout is a circular intersection where vehicles travel around a center island in a counterclockwise direction. These intersect. Tie-ins are designed to reduce the number and severity of collisions, as well as provide OPER, ational efficiencies in the flow of traffic. When approaching a roundabout, perform the fall, lowing steps. Reduce your speed. If more than one lane exists, use the left lane to turn left, the right lane to turn right, and all lanes to go through unless directed otherwise by signs and pavement mark, ANGS. Yield to pedestrians and bicyclists. Yield to circulating traffic when entering the roundabout. 
Stay in your lane within the roundabout and use your right turn signal when exiting. Always assume trucks need all available space. Do not pass them. Clear the roundabout to allow emergent. Side vehicles to pass and do not enter the roundabout if one is approaching. Signal when you are changing direction to exit the roundabout. Large vehicles. Roundabouts are designed to accommodate all vehicle types, including truck and trailer combinations. To assist large trucks, the Tsin, Tur Island includes an apron to accommodate the rear wheels of the vehicle. Interstate driving. Speeds are higher on the interstate than on city streets. Because of this, your vehicle will travel further during your reaction time. To drive safely on the interstate, you should. Be alert. Use your mirror so that you know what is behind you as well as what is in front of you. When changing lanes, use your turn sig, nals, and make sure the lane is clear. When passing, do not cut back into the right lane too quickly. Keep to the right if you are traveling slowly. Never stop on the traveled part of the road. Way. In an emergency, stop on the shoulder and raise your hood to show difficulty. Avoid driving when you are tired. Dim your lights when following another V hikel. Interchanges. Different states use different names for the ramps used for getting on and off the inter state highway. For convenience, we call them interchanges. The two most common types of interchanges are the diamond and the clover leaf. For all interchanges, you must remember. Highway guide signs tell you the location of interchanges well in advance. Watch for these signs. Move into the proper lane B for you reach your interchange. Never back up on the interstate. If you miss your interchange, go on to the next one. Do not use median crossovers. These are four. Authorized vehicles only such as emergency and maintenance vehicles. Never back up on a ramp. If you exit at the wrong interchange, you must follow it out. Return to the highway by the on-ramp. Entrance ramps allow you to adjust your speed to merge safely with the flow of traff, FIC on the highway. Stopping on these ramps should be avoided. Only stop when there is no opening in the traffic flow. Unless posted signs indicate otherwise, any vehicle entering a freeway from an entrance ramp must yield the right-of-way to vehicles on the main roadway. Exit ramps are for leaving or exiting from the highway. You should never stop or back up on these ramps. Night driving. Night driving tends to be more difficult than daytime driving. You can only see as far as your headlights, and this cuts down on your time to react. Be mindful not to overdrive your headlights. You should. Use your headlights from sunset to sunrise and at any other time necessary for safe drive, ING. Use your headlights during inclement weather or when visibility is less than 1,000 feet due to rain, snow, sleet, hail, smoke, or fog. Slow down. You should be able to stop in the distance covered by your headlights even if you come up on a vehicle without taillights or a parked vehicle with its lights on. Clean your windshield inside and out. This will reduce the amount of glare from oncom, ING vehicles. Clean the headlights on your vehicle. This will naturally give more light and help you see vehicles and other night hazards better. Eye strain, fatigue, and lack of concentration can be the result of staring at the spot crate, ed by your headlights. Keep your eyes MOV ING, especially at night. Scan for animals, pedestrians, and bicycle riders. Pay close attention at dawn and dusk for animals, ass, especially for deer. Drive at slower speeds in areas where deer crossing signs are posted. Do not swerve to avoid an animal because this could result in a more serious crash like hitting a tree or another vehicle or posse, fly rolling over. Check to the sides for lights. Parking. Parking on a hill. Downhill turn wheels toward curb. Parallel parking. Uphill turn wheels. Away from curb. Uphill no curb turn wheels toward shoulder. From other vehicles that might be crossing or entering the roadway ahead of you. Con. Stantley check the taillights of vehicles ahead for any indication that they are changing speed or lane position. Dim your headlights at least 500 feet before meeting traffic and within 300 feet when fall, lowing another vehicle. If you meet a vehicle that does not dim its lights, look to the right edge of the road to avoid being blinded. Remember, it takes time for your eyes to add, just after meeting a vehicle at night. 
watch carefully for pedestrians. They may be wearing dark clothing and be difficult to see. Stop and rest if you are tired. Your bright lights could blind an approaching driver. When parallel parking your vehicle, your wheels should be parallel to the right-hand curb and within one foot of the right-hand curb. Here are some parallel parking hints. Signal your move, meant and stop even with the vehicle ahead and about two feet away from it. Turn your wheel to the right and back slowly toward the vehicle behind. When clear of the vehicle ahead, turn your wheel to the left and back slowly toward the vehicle behind you. Turn your wheel to the right and pull ahead toward the curb. Stop in the center of the park, ING space. Put your vehicle in park. Leaving a parking space. When you leave a parking space, look to the rear over your shoulder as well as in the rear view mirror. Signal before you start to move. Yield the right of way to oncoming vehicles. Enter traffic in the nearest lane and remain in that lane until safe to change to another lane. Emergency parking. When you have to make an emergency stop, park with all four wheels off the traveled pave, meant if possible. Between one half hour after sunset and one half hour before sunrise, your vehicle must display at least one white or amber lamp in front and a red light on the rear, both visible for a distance of 1,000 feet when parked on a public highway. Do not park on a sidewalk or in front of a driveway, on or within 10 feet of a crosswalk at an intersection, within 10 feet of a fire hydrant, within an intersection on the street side of a parked vehicle. This violation is called double parking. On a bridge, overpass, or in a tunnel or underpass. Within 15 feet of a flashing beacon, a stop sign, or a traffic control signal placed on the side of the roadway. Between a safety zone and the curb next to it or within 15 feet of points on the curb immediately opposite the ends of a safety zone. Safety zones are marked areas set aside for pedestrians. Alongside or opposite street excavation when parking would obstruct traffic. Anywhere there is an official, no parking sign. In a designated accessible parking space unless in possession of the appropriate placard or accessible license plate. Do not park on the diagonal lines next to the space. Towing. Whether you are towing a camping trailer, a utility trailer, or a boat trailer, the increased weight from the trailer will lengthen the dis chance necessary to stop your vehicle. When traveling faster than 25 miles per hour, you need safety chains or brake CA, capable of holding the trailer if the coupling breaks. You need turn signals, stop lights, two red reflectors, and two red taillights mounted on the rear of the trailer and visible for a dis, chance of 1,000 feet. For more details, see the Motor Vehicle Registrar, North Dakota Department of Transportation, 608 East Boulevard Avenue, Bismarck, North Dakota, 58505-0700, phone 328-2725. You need two amber clearance lamps on the front and two red clearance lights on the back of your trailer if it is 80 inches or more in width. Every vehicle must have a mirror allowing you to see at least 200 feet to the rear. If you are towing another vehicle, the draw, bar or connection between any two vehi, clees, one of which is towing or drawing the others on a highway, shall be of such da, sign, strength, and construction to prevent the unintentional uncoupling of the vehicles. For your safety, it is better to slow down when you are towing a trailer in a strong wind. Coasting prohibited. The driver of any motor vehicle, when travel, ING upon a downgrade, may not coast with the gears or transmission of such vehicle in neutral. The driver of a truck or bus when traveling upon. A downgrade may not coast with the clutch disengaged. Backing. When backing your vehicle is necessary, it must be done without interfering with other traffic. You are responsible for backing onto a lane of traffic safely. You must also be careful so that you do not back into children or other obstacles. To be safe, before backing you should walk around your vehicle to check for clearance. Littering. If you throw or deposit any litter on any public highway, you are subject to a $500 fine. Crash reports. If you are involved in a crash that results in the combined damage of $4,000 or more, 
or results in personal injury or death, you must immediately report it to the local police if you are in a city. Immediately report it to the highway patrol or the county sheriff's office if you are out, side city limits. In all crashes involving injury or damage, the drivers must exchange the following informa, tie-in, driver's name, address, motor vehicle in, insurance company, and policy number. Whenever the driver is physically incapable of giving notice of a crash and also is not the owner of the vehicle, then the owner of the vehicle involved shall, within five days after learning of the crash, give notice and insert. Ants information not given by the driver. Any driver who hits an unattended vehicle must immediately locate and notify the own. Or, if the owner cannot be found, the driver must leave a note at a conspicuous place on the unattended vehicle. The note must list the driver's name, address, and motor vehicle in insurance company. Liability insurance. No person shall drive a motor vehicle in the state of North Dakota without a valid policy of liability insurance in effect. The name of the motor vehicle insurance policy carrier and the policy number of the driver must be furnished to a law enforcement officer upon request. The fine for operating an uninsured motor vehicle is $150 for a first violation and $300 for a sec, on or subsequent violation in three years, and may result in a license suspension. If a person is convicted of no liability insurance, that person will be required to provide proof of Lee ability insurance to the division for one year. The person will also be required to purchase a duplicate driver's license with the proof of liability insurance restriction. The cost of this duplicate license is $50. There will also be a cost of $50 to have the restriction removed at the end of the one-year period. For Emergency Highway Assistance Dial 911. For Weather and Road Conditions Dial 511. Driving Skills and Emergency Situations. Whenever you drive, you must be alert. Al, ways watch for and be prepared to react to a possible emergency situation. As a driver, there will be situations when you will need to reduce your speed immediately, sometimes to regain control of your vehicle and other times to come to a complete stop. Remember, brakes work best just before your tires start to skid or slide on the road surface. Winter driving. Winter driving can create hazardous driving conditions. The driver must be prepared for these conditions and follow additional safe driving practices. It is not legal to enter a road that is officially closed due to hazardous conditions. The penalty for doing this is a $250 fine. Keep the windshield clear. Allow the duff froster to warm up properly while scraping. The ice off windows. The windshield wash, ING fluid should contain an antifreeze solu. Tie-in. However, at high speeds in very cold temperatures, the fluid may freeze on the windshield and totally obscure your vision. Get the feel of the roadway. Try your brakes while driving slowly and adjust your speed to how much traction you have. Slow down. Snow tires or tire chains are help. Full, but you should still double your distance for following other vehicles. Studded snow tires may be used from October 15th to April 15th. Passing trucks may create snow fog. This greatly reduces your visibility. Look ahead for curves in the road. Look behind for V, Heichel's following, and slow down. Remember that on bridges and shaded spots, frost and ice form quicker and are re-tained longer than on the rest of the roadway. To stop on ice, you should pump the brakes when driving vehicles equipped with drum, type brakes on all four wheels. Vehicles equipped with disc brakes require a slow, Intermittent braking action, fully on and then fully off, long enough to let the disc brakes release so that all wheels are roll, ING again. If you slam on your brakes, your wheels will lock and your tires will skid. Keep firm and continuous pressure on anti-lock brakes, ABS. Manually pumping anti-lock brakes or letting up on them decrease, ES their effectiveness because it turns the system off and on. Carry a winter survival kit in your vehicle, warm clothing, footwear, shovel, energy food, etc. If your vehicle becomes stuck in a snow, storm, stay with the vehicle. Most deaths occur when people leave their vehicles and get lost. 
Open your windows slightly and run the vehicle and heater for only short periods of time to avoid carbon monoxide poison. ING. Stay active and do not panic. Meeting snow removal equipment. Here are a few suggestions to help you recog. Nice winter driving hazards while plow trucks are working. Stay well back from snow plows. Sometimes they have to stop and back up. Plow drivers can't see directly behind themselves, and plows also throw sanding material. Remem, BR, don't crowd the plow. Know where the plow is on multi-lane road. Ways. The plow could be in either lane or on the shoulder. Be extremely cautious when passing a snow plow. They can be moved sideways by drifts and hard snowpack. Never drive through wideouts caused by crosswinds or plowing light snow. Snow. Plows pull over and stop frequently to allow traffic to pass. Be patient and wait until you can see. Watch for plow trucks on interstate ramps and turning around on authorized vehicle only crossovers. Don't assume you'll have good traction B cause the road looks sanded. The sand can sink into the snowpack, leaving a slick surface. Slow down and drive according to the con, conditions. Most winter crashes are caused by driving too fast for conditions. Skids. Most skids are the result of driving too fast for the road conditions on slippery roadways. The key to safe vehicle operation is slower speeds. Skid. To correct. In rear-wheel drive automobiles, you should stay off the brakes and gradually ease off the accelerator. Turn your wheels in the direction the rear end of your vehicle is skidding. If the rear end of the vehicle skids right, steer right. If the rear end of the vehicle skids left, steer left. When front-wheel drive vehicles start to skid when traveling at moderate speeds, you should accelerate slightly and steer in the direction you want to go. If there is no room to accelerate, shift into neutral or push in the clutch. Remember, front-wheel drive vehicles have positive, accurate, and quick steering. The vehicle goes exactly where you point it. Four-wheel drive vehicles have a tendency of giving the driver a false sense of security. Therefore, slower speeds on slippery surfac, ES, are extremely important. When traveling at moderate speeds, you should accelerate and steer into the direction of the skid. At higher speeds, or in the event there is no room to accelerate, you should push in the clutch or with automatic transmission vehi, cleese, shift into neutral. Rain. A hard surface roadway is very slippery just after it starts raining. Water combines with the road dirt and oil to form a slick film between your tires and the roadway surface. When the water on the roadway becomes deeper, another hazardous situation occurs, hydroplaning. This occurs when your tires ride on the water and not on roadway surface. Rain reduces visibility and increases the PS, stability of a dangerous skid. Slow down and be alert. Flooding. Flooding can occur when streams and rivers flow over their banks, when dams or levees break, when there is runoff from deep snow or any time there is heavy rainfall. Floodwa. Turs can be found on roads, bridges, and low areas. Flash floods can come rapidly and unexpectedly. They can occur within a few minutes, utes or hours of excessive rainfall. It is not legal to enter a road that is officially closed due to hazardous conditions. The penalty for doing this is a $250 fine. Do not drive through flooded areas. If you see a flooded roadway ahead, turn around and find another route to get to your dusty nation. Be cautious, especially at night when the visibility is limited. Remember, six inches of water will reach the bottom of most passenger cars, causing loss of control or possible stalling. Two feet of moving water can carry away most vehicles, including sport utility vehicles and pickup trucks. Even if the water appears shallow enough to cross, do not attempt to cross a flooded road. Water can hide dips or worse, flood. Waters can damage roadways by washing away the underlying road surface. If there is no other route, proceed to higher ground and wait for the water to subside. Flat tire or blowouts. While you're driving, if one of your tires B comes flat or you have a blowout, you might lose control of your vehicle. The warning sign to listen for is a thumping sound. If a front tire blows out, your vehicle will pull in the direct tie-in of the blown tire. 
a flat rear tire will cause the vehicle to sway back and forth. To regain control, grasp the steering wheel tightly and steer straight ahead. Ease up on the accelerator, but do not brake until you have regained full control. Turn onto the shoulder when your vehicle is almost stopped. Running off the pavement. If your tire drops off the edge of the pavement onto the shoulder, do not try to swerve back onto the pavement because you may lose control of your vehicle. Grip the steering wheel and ease up on the accelerator. If you brake hard, you may go into a skid. After you have slowed down and are in complete control, look for traffic behind you, signal, and turn gently back onto the pavement. Equipment failure. If your headlights suddenly fail, try your park, ING lights, and turn signals and leave the road way as soon as you have slowed down. Remember, without lights, other drivers can no longer see you. If your windshield wipers fail in rain or snow, slow down and stick your head out your side window in order to see as you leave the road. Way. If your accelerator pedal sticks, depress the clutch or shift it into neutral. You may also turn the engine off. However, this may result in the loss of power steering and power brakes. Never turn your vehicle's ignition to the lock position while it is still in motion. This will cause the steering to lock if you try to turn the steering wheel. When you can do so safely, steer to the side of the road. Brakes do their best job just before the tires. Lock and start to skid or slide on the road sir face. Reading the road. As an operator, you must adjust your speed to fit the weather, traffic conditions, and the condition of the road. Slow down when you are driving where there are ruts, holes, bro, can pavement, or other objects on the road. Do not slam on your brakes or steer hard to avoid these obstacles. Driving on loose gravel is harder than driving on pavement because your tires don't have the traction needed to give you stable control. Slow down and avoid sudden changes in direction. Should an oncoming vehicle cross into your lane, slow down and try to warn the oncoming driver by flashing your headlights. If the V, Heichel keeps coming, pull as far to the right as possible. If there could be a collision, Steer off the road to the right when conditions permit, or stop on the far right shoulder of the road. Distracted driving. Driving requires your full attention. It is not legal for anyone to text, composing, reading, or sending an electronic message while drive, ING, or fail to maintain control of a motor vehicle. CLE due to activity that is not necessary to the operation of the vehicle and actually impairs, or would reasonably be expected to impair, the ability of the individual to safely operate the vehicle. The penalty is a $100 fine. Driving posture. Drive with both hands holding the steering wheel. You never know when evasive action may be needed. So be ready. Use one foot to operate both the gas pedal and brake pedal to avoid riding the brakes, which can cause them to overheat. Fatigue. Fatigue, being tired, increases the chance of a crash. If you are sleepy, the only safe cure is to get some sleep. If you don't, you risk your life and the lives of others. Danger signs. A fatigue are... Difficulty in focusing or keeping eyes open, inability to recall the last few miles driven, having the sense of being detached or watching the vehicle being driven rather than driving it, crossing the center line or dropping off the edge of the pavement, missing traffic signs or lights, tailgating or following other V, hikles more closely than you normally would, forgetting to dim headlights, excessive yawn, ING and inability to hold head up, nodding off. Sharing the road with trucks. It may sound obvious, but trucks are not large cars. To reduce the chance of a crash with a large tractor trailer, the so-called 18-wheel, er, drivers must be familiar with the truck's physical capabilities and common manure, ver. Braking. Tractor trailers take longer to stop than a car traveling at the same speed. A fully loaded tractor trailer may take more than 400 feet on dry pavement to come to a complete stop or more than the length of a football field. Turning With any turning vehicle, the rear wheels fall, low a shorter path than the front wheels. 
The longer the vehicle, the greater the difference. That's why the drivers of tractor trailers must often swing out to the left as the first step in making a right turn. When following a tractor, trailer, observe its turn signals before trying to pass. If it appears to be starting a left turn, wait a moment to check and see which way the driver is signaling he's going to turn B for passing on the right. A trucker's blind spots, the no zone. It is important to be seen whenever you are driving. Many drivers falsely assume that a trucker can see the road better because they sit twice as high as the driver of a car. While truckers do enjoy a better forward view and have bigger mirrors, they still have serious blind spots or no zones into which a car can disappear from view up to 20 feet in front of the cab on either side of the tractor trailer, particularly alongside the cab and up to 200 feet in the rear. Drivers lingering in the blind spots on the sides and in the rear hamper a trucker's a bill, ITY, to take evasive action to avoid a danger, a situation, and the possibility of a crash is increased. An excellent rule of thumb for drive, airs sharing the road with a tractor trailer is, if you can't see the truck driver in his or her side mirror, he or she can't see you. Maneuverability Trucks are designed to carry many products to and from towns and cities. They are not designed to be as maneuverable as cars. Trucks have longer stopping and accelerating distances, wider turning radii, and way more. On multi-lane highways, tractor trailers stay in the center lane to help the flow of local traffic on and off the highway. Staying in the middle lane also increases the truck driver's options if he or she has to switch lanes in order to avoid a dangerous situation or a crash. Following is a list of some of the most common mistakes drivers must avoid when driving around trucks. Cutting off a truck in traffic or on the high, way to reach your exit or turn. Cutting into the open space in front of a truck removes the truck driver's cushion of safety. Trying to beat a truck to a single lane construction zone represents a particularly dangerous situation. Take a moment to slow down and exit behind a truck. It will only take you a few extra seconds. Don't linger alongside a truck when passing. Always pass a tractor trailer completely and always on the left side. If you linger when passing any vehicle, your position makes it impossible for the trucker to take evasive action if an obstacle appears on the road ahead. Following too close or tailgating. When fall, lowing behind a truck, if you can't see the truck driver's rearview mirrors, there is no way the truck driver can see you. Tailgat. ING a truck or car is dangerous because you take away your own cushion of safety if the vehicle in front of you stops short, and if the vehicle you are following hits something on the road, you will have no time to react. Before it hits the front of your car. Never underestimate the size and speed of an approaching tractor trailer. Because of its large size, a tractor trailer often appears to be traveling at a slower speed than it is. A substantial number of car truck collisions take place at intersections because the driver of the car does not realize how close the truck is or how quickly it is approaching. Move over. If a motor vehicle is stranded along the inter, state, or multi-lane highway outside city limits with flashing hazard lights, a driver approach. ING or passing this vehicle should yield the right of way and move safely to the lane not adjacent to the stranded vehicle. If only lane available to move safely to is the adjacent lane to the stranded vehicle, proceed with caution and reduce speed. Sharing the road with motorcycles. Motorcyclists have the same rights and re responsibilities on public roadways as other drivers. Special conditions and situations of 10 cause greater problems for motorcyclists. Drivers should be aware of these problems so they can more safely share the roadway with motorcyclists. Special hazards. Allow the motorcyclist a full lane width. Although it may seem as though there is enough room in the traffic lane for an automobile and a motorcycle, remember the motorcycle needs the room to maneuver safely. Do not share the lane. Approximately one half of all motorcycle crashes involve another motor vehicle. Nearly 40% were caused by the other vehicle turning left in front of the motor C, Clist. Motorcycles are small and may be difficult to see. 
motorcycles have a much smaller profile than other vehicles, which can make it more difficult to judge the speed and dis, tants of an approaching motorcycle. Always signal your intentions before Chang, ING lanes, or merging with traffic. This allows the motorcyclist to anticipate traffic flow and find a safe lane position. Remember that motorcyclists are often hid, den in a vehicle's blind spot, or missed in a quick look due to their smaller size. Al, ways make a visual check for motorcycles by checking mirrors and blind spots before entering or leaving a lane of traffic and at intersections. Don't be fooled by a flashing turn signal on a motorcycle. Motorcycle signals USU. Ally are not self-canceling and ridersome. Times forget to turn them off. Wait to be sure the motorcycle is going to turn before you proceed. Remember that road conditions which are minor annoyances to you pose major has, ards to motorcyclists. Motorcyclists may change speed or adjust their position within a lane suddenly in reaction to road and traff, FIC conditions such as potholes, gravel, wet or slippery surfaces, pavement seams, rail, road crossings, and grooved pavement. Allow more following distance, three or four seconds, following a motorcycle so the MO. Tour cyclist has enough time to maneuver or stop in an emergency. In dry conditions, motorcycles can stop more quickly than a car. Being aware of these situations can help you as a driver share the road safely with motor, cyclists. Sharing the road with bicycles. Bicyclists generally travel at slower speeds than motorists, which can create special con, side rations for sharing the road safely. Remember to reduce speed when in count, tearing bicyclists. Recognize situations that may be potent, highly dangerous to bicyclists and give them space. When passing, maintain a safe operating. Distance between your car and a bicyclist. The individual operating the motor vehicle is required to leave a minimum of three feet of passing space between the vehicle and bicycle. Pass a bicyclist only when road and traffic conditions dictate that it is safe to do so. Check over your shoulder after passing a bicyclist and before moving back to normal position. In inclement weather, give bicy, clists extra room. Scan for bicyclists in traffic, particularly at intersections. Most crashes involving a MO, tour vehicle, and a bicyclist occur at intersect, tie-ins. Allow bicyclists extra time to cross in intersections. When turning right, check your blind spot for bicyclists before initiating the turn. Avoid driving in designated bicycle lanes other than to make a right turn. Do so safely, signal and look before moving into the by, cycle lane on approach to your turn. Children on bicycles are often unpredict, able and may not have adequate knoll, edge of traffic laws. Children may be harder to see because they are typically smaller than adults. So, expect the unexpected and slow down. Seat belts. There is no good excuse for not wearing seat belts. Seat belts have been proven to be one of the most effective safety devices today. Most of the traffic deaths and serious injuries occur when the driver and passengers are ejected or are thrown onto the dashboard. Your chances of B, ING killed are four times greater if you are thrown from the vehicle. Seat belts help keep vehicle OC cup ants in place, reducing the chance of death or injury. This is not only for highway driving. In fact, crashes causing injury are most likely to occur at speeds less than 40 miles per hour and within 25 miles of home. At 30 miles per hour, the force is like hitting the ground from the top of a 3STO, rebuilding. Drivers have much to gain by taking a few seconds to fasten their seat belts. Not only do seat belts protect you, but seat belts help you maintain proper riding and driving posture Mac. ING you feel less tired after a trip. Belts must be worn correctly. Lap belts should lie snug and low across the hips, not across the abdomen. Shoulder belts should lie across the chest and over the collarbone with minimal, if any, slack. Automatic seat belts automatically move into place around front seat occupants when the car doors are closed. A separate lap belt must be fastened manually to provide sufficient protection with automatic shoulder belts. Wear your belt correctly. 
North Dakota's seat belt law requires all OC cupants to wear seat belts in all seating posy tie-ins. Airbags. Airbags are designed to provide supple men towel protection for belted front seat occupants in a frontal crash. Lap slash shoulder belts must owl ways be used in conjunction with an airbag to protect occupants in side impact and rollover crashes. Airbags work best when everyone is buckled and children, especially those age. 12 and younger are properly restrained in the back seat. If you transport children, check the vehicle and child restraint manufacturer's recommendations for child restraint use in B, Heichel's with side airbags. Child restraints, car safety seats. Motor vehicle crashes are a leading cause of death and injury for children in North Dakota. Tragically, most deaths and injuries can be prevented with the proper use of car safety seats and seat belts. North Dakota's child passenger safety law requires Children under 8 years of age must be properly secured in a child restraint, car seat, or booster seat. A seat belt may be substituted for children who are at least 57 inches tall. Children ages 8 through 17 must be properly secured in a seat belt or child restraint. Child restraints and seat belts must be used correctly following the manufacturers in struct ions. The penalty for violation is $25 and one point against the license of the driver. Incorrectly used car seats may not protect a child in a crash. Follow the manufacturer's instructions and vehicle owner's manual X. Ackley. Correct use of a child restraint includes 1. Installing the car seat tightly in the vehicle with a safety belt or latch system and 2. Snugly securing the child in the car safety seat. Other child passenger safety tips. Children under age 13 should ride in the back seat, even if the vehicle does not have an airbag. Never place a rear-facing infant car seat in front of an airbag. Children should be at least 40 pounds and at least 4 years of age to move from a car seat to a booster seat. Never allow children to ride in the cargo area of a pickup truck. Never buckle two children into one seat belt. For more information, contact the North Dakota Department of Health at www.ndhealth.gov slash injury slash or call 1-800-472-2286. Heatstroke. Heatstroke is one of the leading causes of non-crash-related fatalities among children. Vehicle heat stroke occurs when a child is left in a vehicle, allowing for the child's body tem, parature to rise in a quick and deadly manner. Heat stroke begins when the core body tem, parature reaches about 104 degrees and the thermoregulatory system is overwhelmed. A core body temperature of about 107 degrees is lethal. Unfortunately, even great parents can forget a child in the back seat. Other risk factors include caregivers who are not used to driving kids or whose routine suddenly changes. Whether you are a parent, care, giver, or bystander of a child left in a vehicle, it is vitally important to understand children are more vulnerable to heat stroke than adults are. Even in cooler temperatures, your vehicle can heat up to dangerous temperatures very quickly. An outside temperature in the mid, 60s can cause a vehicle's inside temperature to rise above 110 degrees Fahrenheit. The inside temperature of a vehicle can rise al, most 20 degrees Fahrenheit within the first 10 minutes. Heatstroke prevention tips. Look before you lock. Make it a habit to look in your back seat before you lock. Keep your vehicle locked and keep your keys out of reach. Nationally, nearly 3 in 10 heatstroke deaths happen when an unattended child gains access to a vehicle. Take action if you notice a child alone in a vehicle. It is never okay to leave a child alone in a V, Heichel, for any amount of time, as it can lead to tragedy. These deaths, while accidental, are always preventable. Drinking, drugs, and driving. Alcohol. More traffic deaths on the nation's highways. Are caused by alcohol than any other single cause. In North Dakota, Nearly half of the traffic deaths involve drivers who have been drinking prior to the crash. There is evidence proving that if you drink, even just a little, your chances of a crash are seven times greater than if you were completely sober. 
Alcohol is a drug that slows the activity of the brain. When alcohol enters the stomach, it goes directly into the blood and other parts of the body. It reduces the amount of oxygen that reaches the brain cells. Alcohol directly affects a person's ability to drive. When a person drinks increasing amounts of alcohol, the degree of impairment and the intensity of the effect will rise rapidly. The amount or concentration of alcohol in the blood or breath is known as alcohol concentration or AC. Three factors influence a per son's AC. The alcohol content. In the aver. Age drink, the alcohol content is about the same whether it's a 12-ounce can of beer, a 4-ounce glass of wine, or a 1-ounce glass of scotch or whiskey. Remember that, in reality, mixed drinks at home or in a lounge vary a great degree. Drinks at a private party tend to be quite a bit stronger. The period of time over which the alcohol was consumed. The more alcohol you consume, the longer it takes to sober up. Time is the only way to eliminate alcohol from the bloodstream. This process is relatively slow and will not be quickened by drinking coffee, taking cold showers, or exercising. The person's lean body weight. Larger people have more blood and flu, IDs, which will dilute the alcohol consumed more than in a smaller person. Effects of alcohol. Alcohol slows down reactions. Alcohol impairs vision. Alcohol interferes with concentration. Alcohol dulls judgment. Alcohol creates a false sense of confi, denke. Alcohol is a drug that depresses the central nervous system and slows down brain active, ITY. Alcohol in the bloodstream slows reaction time, interferes with the driver's vision, and causes dangerous situations to appear not so dangerous. Implied consent. Upon receiving your license to operate a MO, tour vehicle in North Dakota, you have given your consent to a chemical test to determine the level of alcohol and or drug content in your blood, breath, urine, or saliva. If you refuse to take the test, your license will be revoked for 180 days to three years. Remember, a chem, ICL test can help you. If you are not legally intoxicated, the test will show it. Driving while under the influence. If a chemical test reveals that you have eight one hundredths of 1%, 0.08%, or greater of alcohol in your blood, or 0.02% if un, under the age of 21, you are considered legally to be under the influence of alcohol. The pen, alties for driving in this dangerous condition are harsh. What will happen to your driving privy, legis? There are two separate penalties involved under the DUI law. One is an administrative license penalty, the other is a court conviction penalty. Your driving privileges may be SUS, pended through either or both processes. If you have an alcohol concentration, AC, of 0.08% or more or 0.02% or more if you are under age 21, your license will be suspended for 91 days, first offense in 7 years, 180 days, first offense, AC.18 or greater in 7 years. 365 days, second offense in 7 years. 2 years, second offense, AC.18 or greater in 7 years. 2 years, third and subsequent offense in 7 years. 3 years, third and subsequent of fence, AC.18 or greater in 7 years. If you refuse to take either an AC test or a roadside preliminary breath test, PBT, your license will be revoked for 180 days to three years. Temporary restricted license can be issued after serving at least 30 days of suspension or after serving at least 14 days if participate, ING in the 24-7 sobriety program. Temporary restricted licenses can only be issued if within the past seven years there has been a refusal or more than one alcohol-slash-drug-related violation. Participation in the 24-7 sobriety program is required until one year violation-free. There are also harsh penalties for driving while your license is suspended or revoked after an alcohol-related violation, four days mandatory minimum jail sentence, and a fine of up to $1,000. The license plates and registration card for your vehicle may be impounded for the length of the suspension slash revocation. 
What happens if you're convicted? If convicted through the court process, in ad, addition to losing your driving privilege, you also face mandatory fines and jail sentences. First conviction, $500 fine. First conviction if the AC is 0.16% or greater. At least $750 fine and two days imprees, on mint. The term of imprisonment may be converted to community service. Second conviction within seven years. Dollar one, zero 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 fine and 10 days in jail and at least 12 months in the 24-7 sobriety program as a mandatory condition of probation. Third conviction within seven years, dollar two, zero zero zero. Fine and 120 days in jail and participation in the 24-7 sobriety program as a mandatory condition of probation. Fourth or subsequent offense, dollar two, zero 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 fine and one year and one day in jail and par participation in the 24-7 sobriety program as a mandatory condition of probation. In addition, all convicted offenders are re required to submit to a mandatory alcohol ad, diction evaluation, and complete any rec, amended treatment. These are just the minimum penalties. It could be worse. What happens if you cause a serious injury or death? In addition to the minimum penalties for DUI, if you are involved in a crash and cause a SE rias injury to another, you will spend an ad additional 90 days in jail. If you cause the death of another, your time in jail is extended by one year. What happens to your insurance? If you refuse to take an AC test or if convicted of a DUI, the law requires you to show proof of financial responsibility, SR-22 insurance coverage. Typically, motor vehicle insurance is obtained to satisfy this requirement. Chances are your annual motor vehicle insurance rates could double or even triple. Reporting impaired driving. If you exhibit or encounter out of the ordinary driving that would indicate alcohol impair, meant anyone can report this to law enforce, meant by dialing 911. Open container law. It is illegal for anyone, driver or passenger, to drink alcoholic beverages in or on a MO, tour vehicle. You cannot legally have an open container in your vehicle. The seal cannot be broken. Any open containers must be placed in the trunk of the vehicle. Minor in possession slash consumption law. Persons under 21 years of age are prohibited from purchasing, consuming, or possessing alcoholic beverages. Drugs. Drugs and driving do not mix. Even certain cold tablets and capsules can affect your drive, ING ability by making you drowsy at the wheel. Read all directions carefully. As with alcohol, operating while under the in, fluence of a narcotic drug is especially Dan Jarris. Not only do you endanger your life, but you also endanger the lives of others us, ING the same road. The harsh penalties that deal with operating under the influence of AL, COHAL, also apply to narcotic drugs. Pedestrian traffic and recreational vehicles. Pedestrians. Traffic rules apply to pedestrians as well as motorists. Some special rules for pedestrians are listed below. Remember, joggers are considered pedestrian, ANS, and must also obey these rules. Obey traffic signals. Walk in the crosswalks. Do not start to cross the roadway on a flash, ING, don't walk, signal. If you are already in the intersection, move to the other side at a normal pace. If you cross a road where there is no cross, walk, you must yield the right of way to all V, hikles on the roadway. Do not cross intersections diagonally unless an official traffic control device says you may. Walk facing traffic. Use sidewalks when you can. If there are no sidewalks, get as far off the road as possible. You have the right of way only in crosswalks. Yield to vehicles any place else. Use your common sense. Yield if there is any danger. When you walk at night, walk facing traffic and wear light or white clothing. Make sure drivers can see you. You are not allowed to stand on the traveled portion of the street or highway for the per pose of hitchhiking. Drivers must always be on the lookout for pedestrians. Be alert for children at play. For in stance, a ball rolling onto the street tells you a child might be chasing it. Your reactions might save a life. 
Recreational vehicles. Bicycles and motorized bicycles. Traffic laws apply to everyone. Whether you are driving a car, truck, motorcycle, bicycle, or motorized bicycle, you must always obey the same basic rules of the road. A motorized bicycle is a two or three wheeled vehicle no more than 32 inches wide. It must also have foot pedals or footrests, maximum piston or rotor displacement of 49.98 cubic centimeters, 3.05 cubic inches, enabling a speed not to exceed 30 miles per hour on a level surface. An automatic drive system not requiring the use of a clutch. To operate a motorized bicycle, you must be at least 14 years of age or older and have in your immediate possession a valid operator's license, motorized bicycle permit, operator permit, temporary permit, instruction permit, or motorcycle permit. Rules and guidelines. Obey all traffic laws. Ride not more than two abreast. Single file is safest. Keep to the right side of the roadway. Give pedestrians the right of way. Use hand signals before turning and stop. Ping, see page 16. Do not carry more people on a bicycle or motorized bicycle than it was designed to carry. All bicycles and motorized bicycles must be equipped with a brake. If under 18, an approved safety helmet is required to operate a motorized bicycle. A good practice is to wear a safety helmet while riding a bicycle and motorized bicycle regardless of age. It is a good idea to wear brightly colored clothing to increase your visibility in traffic. Only carry a package or bundle if it allows you to keep at least one hand on the Han Dli bar. Do not hold on to other moving vehicles for the purpose of being towed. At night, all bicycles must be equipped with a headlight visible from a distance of 500 feet. The bicycle must also have a red reflector on the rear. If equipped with a tail light, it must be visible for 500 feet to the rear. OFF Highway Vehicles The operator of an off-highway vehicle must be in possession of a valid driver's license, permit, or an off-highway vehicle safety SARE, certificate issued by the North Dakota Parks and Recreation Department. For complete info, Matt Ion on minimum age requirements, call 328-5357 or visit www.parkrec.nd.gov. OFF Highway Vehicles Rules there are a number of rules regulating the operation of an off-highway vehicle. Here are some of them. Persons under the age of 18 must wear a safety helmet that meets United States DA, Department of Transportation Standards. Do not operate an off-highway vehicle on the roadway, shoulder, or inside bank or slope of any road, street, or highway except as provided in Chapter 39 to 29 of the North. Dakota Century Code Review your owner's manual before operating. Cross streets or highways at an angle of AP, approximately 90 degrees to the direction of the highway and at a place where no OB, on prevents a quick and safe cross, ING. Come to a complete stop before cross, ING the shoulder or main traveled roadway. You must yield the right of way to all road, way traffic. When crossing a divided high, Way, cross only at an intersection of the highway with another street or highway. Except in emergencies, you may not oper a within the right of way of any controlled access highway. A person who is performing pest control or survey work for a political subdivision may operate an off-highway vehicle on the bot, tom, back slope, inside slope, and shoulder of a highway other than a controlled access highway. A licensed driver may operate a registered off-highway vehicle on a gravel, dirt, or loose surface roadway, on a paved highway designated and posted at a speed not exceeding 55 miles per hour. A licensed driver over 16 years of age may operate a registered Class 3 off-highway vehicle on a paved highway designated and posted at a speed not exceeding 65 miles per hour. All off-highway vehicles operated on paved highways or gravel, dirt, or loose surface roadways must meet the equipment require, meant in 39 to 29 of the North Dakota Century Code. Snowmobiles In order to operate a snowmobile on a high, way right of way, you must have in your PS, session a valid driver's license or a snow, 
mobile safety certificate issued by the North Dakota Parks and Recreation Department. For complete information on minimum age requirements, call 328-5357 or visit www.parkrec.nd.gov. Equipment. Your snowmobile must have a headlight, a taillight, brakes, a leak-proof exhaust system, which includes a muffler. Snowmobile rules. There are a number of different rules regulate, ING when and where you can operate a snow mobile. Here are some of them. Persons under the age of 18 must wear a safety helmet that meets United States DA, Department of Transportation Standards. Never operate a snowmobile on the road, way, shoulder, or inside bank of any road in North Dakota. Never operate on the right-of-way of any inn to state highway. The right-of-way includes the driving portion of the road, the median, the shoulders, and the ditches on either side. If you operate in any ditch alongside the roadway, move in the same direction as roadway traffic. Never operate on any right-of-way from April 1st to November 1st of any year. If you must cross a roadway, yield the right-of-way to all roadway traffic. Come to a complete stop before reaching the shoulder of the road. Proceed at right angles to the road when it is clear. On a divided highway, cross only at inter sections. When required for your safety and that of others, use your headlights and taillights. Never operate while under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Do not harass any animals with your snow, mobile. You are liable for damages. Never operate where your machine will damage trees and plants. Do not operate on private land without per mission. Point system. North Dakota uses a point system to improve safety on the roads. Under the North Dakota point system, each traffic violation is assigned a certain amount of points. The more serious the offense, the higher its point value. After each violation, the corresponding amount of points are added to the driver's record. This normally occurs within 10 days of convict tie-in. When the record reveals a total of 12 or more points, the driver will be informed that the authorities intend to suspend his or her license. The driver will also be notified that he or she may have an administrative hearing. If it is found to be true that the driver in case, Tyan has 12 or more points, the license will be suspended according to the following table. Accumulated point total. Period of suspension. 12. 7 days. 13 and above. 7 days for each point over 11 the point total can be reduced. One point for every three-month parry, OD during which the driver has not had any points recorded against his, her record. Three points if the driver completes an approved driver improvement course, such as a defensive driving course. A person may elect to attend a driver in improvement course in lieu of points on the driving record for violations assigned five or less points. This option is valid once ev. Airy 12 months and may not be used in con, junction with item to above. Parent slash guardian driver coaching tips. Withdrawal of parental consent. Consent of a parent or legal guardian is re required for a minor to get a permit or a license. The person who consented can withdraw the consent at any time and the permit or license will be canceled. A teen can regain their permit or license with parental consent or when they reach the age of 18. Driving risks, what parents need to know. Driving can be a potentially dangerous and diver for everyone. However, it is more Dan, Jerris for young drivers. Novice teen drivers crash more than any other age group. There are many reasons for this, including young age slash lack of maturity. Teenagers can make more errors in judgment than auth or age groups. Be aware your teen is likely to drive differently and take more risks when you are not in the vehicle. Brain development. Teens should be the world's best drivers. Their muscles are well-toned, their reaction time quick, their eye-hand coordination at a peak. Yet car crash, ES kill more of them than any other cause a problem, some researchers believe, that is rooted in the adolescent brain. A National Institutes of Health study suggests that the region of the brain that inhibits risky behalf, ire is not fully formed until age 25. 
Risky driving behaviors. Teenagers may engage in risky driving behaviors. These include speeding, running red and yellow lights, running stop signs, tailgating, weave, ing in and out of traffic, not keeping a safe distance for merging or changing lanes, misjudging gaps in traffic, and misjudging the capability of their vehicle. Distractions. Any new or inexperienced driver is challenged when faced with driving distractions. Music, cell phones, pets, and passengers are best left at home while your teen is learning to drive. Driving inexperience. Teenagers lack drive. ING experience. It takes a lot of practice to be able to safely maneuver in everyday situations and unexpected circumstances. Teens show the greatest improvement with in the first year and 1,000 miles of driving. They continue to improve through their first 5,000 miles of driving. High-risk driving conditions. Driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Drinking any, yes, any amount. Of alcohol produces impairment. Not only is the use of alcohol and illicit drugs illegal, the combination of alcohol or drugs and driving can be deadly. High speeds, 14 drivers, especially males, most severe crashes occur at high speeds. Crash risk, severity, and force all increase as speed increases. Passengers, 14 drivers as the number. BR of passengers increase. Teen crashes increase. Driving is a new skill for teens, and they need to pay close attention. Teen passengers can be a major distraction. Teen passengers may intentionally or unintention. Ally encourage friends to speed, show off, or not pay enough attention to driving. Night driving. For teen drivers, the most severe crashes occur at night and on week ends. Night driving is challenging for all drive, airs, but novice teen drivers do not have the experience to anticipate and react to Kandy. Tie-ins at night when visibility is reduced. Make sure your teen gets extensive practice drive. ING with you in varied types of weather. Be aware that teenagers driving at night usually include a lack of adult supervision, carrying passengers, and driving at high speeds, all of which increase risk exponentially. Seatbelt non-use. Seatbelt non-use is a problem for both drivers and passengers. Seat belts are important because they keep the driver and passengers inside the vehicle where they are the safest. Driver education is the beginning of the process of learning to drive, but teens need many, many hours of practice to become safe drivers. Tips for supervising teen driving. Practice, practice, practice. Prac. Tice as much as possible, even after your teen gets their license. Who? Practice with only you and your teen in the vehicle. Other people, pets, etc. can distract both of you and increase stress. Remember, remain calm and focused. Making mistakes is part of learning and practice. Driving is serious, but it should also be inter, staying and engaging. What? Practice the driving skills yourself that your teen is learning. Begin with basic skills such as turning, parking, and backing up. Then, practice more complex skills such as changing lanes and merging. When, in the beginning, practice during day, light hours with good weather. As your teen's skills increase, gradually expose them to different roads, weather conditions, and times of day. Where, in the beginning, practice in safe, low-risk driving areas. Start out in empty parking lots or on remote roads. As your teen's skills increase, progress to quiet neighborhood streets and later to busier roads and highways. Why? Learning to drive is a complex, on, going process requiring responsibility and dedication from both parents and teens. New drivers need a lot of practice to handle daily driving hazards and unexpected situa, tie-ins. Teens will show the greatest improve, meant in the first 1,000 to 5,000 miles of driving. Do these each time you practice. Be in the practicing mood. Practice when both of you are ready, in good moods, have sufficient time, and are well rested. Adjust mirrors, seat belts, seats, and steering wheel position before starting the vehicle. Always wear your seat belts and use your headlights day and night. Come to a complete stop at stop signs and for right turns at red lights. When proceeding from a stop look left, then front, 
straight ahead, then right before proceeding. Keep your eyes moving. Use your mirrors to check around and behind the vehicle of airy 6 to 8 seconds. Keep at least a 3 to 4 second space between your vehicle and others in traffic flow. Try to stay centered in your lane of travel. Avoid the no zone with trucks or bus ES. This is about 15 feet on all sides of the truck. If you cannot see truck drivers in their mirrors, they cannot see you either. Be aware, speed increases braking dis tance. Doubling your speed will quadruple your braking distance. The faster your go, ing, the longer it takes to stop. Be aware, vehicle weight increases braking distance. Doubling your vehicle weight will double your braking distance. If you are driving a large vehicle or towing a trailer, it takes longer to stop. North Dakota law sets requirements for teen driving, but families need to determine other rules and limits for their teen drivers. Make sure that family rules are very clear from the beginning. Talk to your teen about driving every chance you get. Use a parent-teen driving agreement. Use a parent-teen driving agreement to determine appropriate rules and guidelines for your teen driver and to make sure everyone is clear about them. A sample agreement can be found on the internet at www.dot.gov slash d visions slash safety slash teens parents htm under edu cation. Driving rules slash guidelines for your family requires seat belt use. This applies to your teen and all passengers at all times. Prohibit alcohol and or drug use. This applies to your teen as the driver of any vehicle. Prohibit riding with someone who has used alcohol or drugs. This applies to your teen as the passenger in another vehicle. Require compliance with speed limb. It's stress that this applies to all roads at all times because crash forces at higher speeds kill. Prohibit distractions while driving. Prohibit cell phone use, eating, drinking, pets, or changing radio or CDs while driving. Require a full report. Require informa. Tie in about each trip before leaving. Include ING where your teen is going, with whom, and when they will return so that you know where they are. Provide a safe, reliable vehicle for your teen. Mid to full-size sedans and station wagons with smaller engines and airbags are safest for teen drivers. Under certain conditions, small trucks and SUVs may be more prone to rollovers than other types of vehicles. High-performance cars may encourage teens to drive beyond their experience level. Impose consequences for violating rules slash guidelines. Make consequences relate to losing drive, ING privileges, for a day, weekend, week, month, etc., depending on the violation. Consequences not related to losing driving privileges will not be as effective in sending the messages. You must be a responsible driver, and I am serious about your follow, ING the rules and limits for driving. Consider requiring your teen to complete additional supervised practice. Make consequences known. Set cons. Quences for common violations before they occur so that your teen knows what to expect. Getting a speeding ticket. Coming home less than 30 minutes after curfew. Coming home more than 30 minutes after curfew. Lying about their whereabouts. Violating passenger restrictions. In North Dakota, teen drivers account for about 20% of fatal crashes. So... Before you ever get into the car, make sure that both you and your teen understand the basics. Teen Driver Training Orientation Before you begin training, make sure you know common teen driving errors and ways you can help your teen be a better driver. Top 11 Driving Errors Not attending to the path of travel. Driving 5 or more miles per hour too fast for conditions. Driving too fast through a curve. Inadequate search at an intersection and failing to yield to cross traffic. Lack of attention at an intersection and being struck by another driver. Improper evasive action, quick turn not executed properly. Failure to maintain visual lead. Failure to see action developing at side of the roadway. Following too closely. Willfully taking right of way. Distracted. Aggressive driving. Drivers who routinely speed, run red lights and stop signs, tailgate, and otherwise disra, 
guard the safety of other motorists are turning streets and highways into high-risk arenas. Aggressive driving can easily escalate into road rage. We're all too familiar with stories of motorists who have killed or injured other drivers for seemingly trivial reasons. When is it aggressive driving? The following attitudes and behaviors indicate that problem driving behaviors are related to aggression rather than inexperience. Constant rushing, lane jumping, and the need to get ahead. Experience. Ignoring road signs and regulations. Constantly ridiculing and criticizing other drivers. Denying entry into your lane or preventing passing. Speeding past another car, revving engine. Tailgating a driver to go faster or get out of their way. Honking, yelling, or making visible insulting gestures. When confronted by aggressive drivers. First and foremost, make every attempt to get out of their way. Put your pride in the back seat. Do not chow. Lunge them by speeding up or attempting to hold your own in your travel lane. Wear your seatbelt. It will hold you in your seat and behind the wheel in case you need to make an abrupt driving maneuver and it will protect you in a crash. Avoid eye contact. Ignore gestures and refuse to return them. Report aggressive drivers to the appropriate. Aid authorities by providing a vehicle description, license number, location, and, if possible, direction of travel. If you have a cell phone and can do it safe, LY, call 911. An exercise to become familiar with v -Lin spots. The exercise above illustrates the area around the car the driver cannot see. While your teen is sitting in the driver's seat with the engine off, get out of the car and stand close to the front bumper facing the driver. Begin taking steps backward and have your teen tap the horn when he or she can see your feet. Place a cone or cup in that spot. This is the pavement area in front of the vehicle that cannot be seen when looking out of the windshield. Ask the driver to use the inside mirror and slash or to look over the right shoulder and repeat this process to the rear of the vehicle. Walk backwards from the passenger doors on the left and right sides of the vehicle and place cups or cones to mark the side areas visible to the driver. Have your teen measure these distances and record them. Notes Supervised Driving Log Instruction permit holders under the age of 16 must complete a minimum of 50 hours of super, viced, behind-the-wheel driving experience in various driving conditions that include driving in rural areas, driving in urban areas, driving on gravel, dirt, or aggregate surface roads, night driving, passive drivers, driving in winter conditions. The log below will help you keep track of the hours required. Please note that the 50 hours of supervised driving is in addition to the formal driver's education requirements. Driving log must practice driving in each of these conditions. When added together, must total a minimum of 50 hours. Hours, conditions. 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 Rural areas. Urban areas. Gravel, dirt aggregate road surfaces, night driving, passive drivers, winter driving, total hours, notes, driving log, does, conditions, your, license. If your North Dakota driver license or ID doesn't have a federally required real ID gold star by May 7th, 2025, you may not be able to fly in the United States. What type of documentation is needed for real ID? One proof of age and identity. One proof of social security. Proofs of North Dakota residency. Such as, such as, such as. U.S. birth certificate. Passport valid only. Asterisk may need additional documentation if name varies from ID document. Original Social Security Card, W-2 Form, SSA 1099 Form, Utility Bill, Lease Slash Mortgage Document, Homeowners Slash Renters Insurance. 
asterisk for a full list of document options, go to NDDOT website. Learn more. real-id.dot.nd.gov. In-person courses. Public course, voluntary $60. Distance learning courses. Public course, voluntary $80. 10% discount. Use coupon code NDDOT. Defensive driving course also available for experienced drivers. Alive at 25 is a highly interactive 4.5 hour program targeted toward drivers under the age of 25 that helps young drivers take greater responsibility for their driving. Whereas driver education teaches the mechanics of car and road handling and state law, Alive at 25 focuses on behavior, judgment, decision making and consequences, and provides tools for making positive choices. Plus, Courses are approved in ND for insurance discount and point reduction. www.ndsc.org For more information, call 701-223-6372 or 800-932-8890. Index Aggressive Driving 43 Airbags 34 Alcohol 35 Applying for a license or permit for. Backing 27. Bicycles, sharing the road 33. Blind spots, become familiar 44. Change of name or address 7. Child restraints, car safety seats. 34. Classes of licenses. 8. Coasting prohibited. 26. As, such as. Crash reports. 27. Distracted driving. 30. Driving posture. 30. Driving risks. What parents need to know. 40. Driving rules slash guidelines for your family. 42. Driving while under the influence. 36. Drugs. 37. Duplicate licenses slash permits 7. Equipment failure 30. Examinations 5. Exemptions 3. Fatigue. 30. Flat tire or blowouts. 30. Flooding. 29. Following and stopping distances. 21. Hand signals. 19. High risk driving conditions. 40. Implied consent. 36. Impose consequences for violating rules slash guidelines. 42. Interchanges. 24. Interstate driving. 23. Lane changes. 21. Littering 27. Minor in possession slash consumption law 37. Minor's driver license 6. Motorcycles, sharing the road 32. Special hazards 32. Night driving 24. Open container law 37. Organ, tissue, and eye donation 6. Parent teen driving agreement. Parking. 42. Do not park. 26. As, such as. Emergency parking. 26. As, such as. Leaving a parking space. 26. As, such as. Parallel parking. 25. Parking on a hill. 25. Passing. 21. Pavement markings. 16. Pedestrians. 37. People who cannot get a license 3. Permits 3. Point system. 40. Provide a safe, reliable vehicle for your teen. 42. Railroad crossings. 18. Rain. 29. Reading the road. 30. Recreational vehicles. 38. Bicycles and motorized bicycles. 38. Off-highway vehicles. 38. Snowmobiles. 39. Registering your motor vehicle. 8. Renewal. 7. Reporting impaired driving. 37. Restriction. 7. Right-of-way. 19. Roundabouts. 23. Running off the pavement. 30. Seat belts. 33. Signals. Flashing indications. 15. Left turn indications. 15. Traffic signals 15. Signs. Guide 14. 
Pedestrian, 12. Regulatory, 9. School, 12. Special warning, 12. Warning, 11. Skids, 29. Speed limits, 20. 17. Teen driver training orientation, 43. Driving, 37. Top 11 driving errors, 43. Driving, 37. Teen driving, tips for supervising, 41. Do these each time you practice, 41. Towing, 26. As, such as, trucks, sharing the road, 31. On the road, blind spots, the no zone, 31. On the road, braking, 31. On the road, maneuverability, 32. Turning, 31. On the road, turning, 22. Wear your belt correctly, 34. Winter driving, 27. Meeting snow removal equipment, 28. Withdrawal of parental consent, 40. Work zone, channelizing devices, 13. Construction and maintenance devices, 13. Flag persons, 14. Flashing arrow panels, 13. Safety tips, 14. www.dot.dot.gov